Hey, this might be the coolest story of the We've day. We've been really excited about this. Yes, you know, unlike those Hollywood sci-fi movies, we have rarely had to deal with incoming asteroids on Earth, but NASA not taking any chances. Today, NASA is going to launch the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART. Here to tell us more about this from NASA is expert Nancy Chabot, Coordination Lead for DART. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. It's a great day to launch. Oh my gosh, this is such an interesting story. Tell us about this DART mission first and foremost. Yeah, so the DART mission is a NASA mission to purposely crash a spacecraft into an asteroid to move its position in space slightly. Um, the asteroid that is the target for DART is not a threat to the Earth. Um, this is just a test. But we're taking this first test now before we need it um, to potentially protect the Earth in the future. Uh, the spacecraft is uh, built at uh, Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab uh, for NASA, and it's NASA's first mission launching out of its Planetary Defense Coordination Office. Wow. So realistically, how, how big of a threat would it be for an asteroid to be coming toward Earth? You guys are being very proactive here, right? <laughs> Uh, absolutely. We are being very proactive. Uh, asteroids, large asteroids that hit the Earth um, have happened for billions of years, but they're extremely rare. And there are no known asteroid threats to the Earth in the foreseeable future. That said, we haven't actually found all of the asteroids yet. And that's one part of NASA's planetary defense strategy is to find all of the asteroids. But while we're doing that, you also want to take these steps to be ready in case you needed it ahead of time, and that's where DART comes in. So extremely proactive, no threats to the Earth from asteroids that we know of, but this is something that's been going on for billions of years and will continue in the future. So it's very exciting that we're taking this first step. Nancy, you mentioned, you know, no threat to the Earth. Are folks gonna know that this happens today? Is there gonna be anything felt down here on the ground? Oh, no. I mean, okay. so today we're launching. And 10 months later is when the collision with the asteroid is actually going to happen. Um, and so that's going to be September of 2022. Um, still a big day to launch, um, but that's going to be even bigger in September in some ways to really have this mission uh, complete its uh, success. But uh, no, it's a, it's a very, very small nudge. In fact, uh, this is sort of different than the Hollywood blockbusters. In the Hollywood blockbusters, you, you go up and you blow it up and it's very exciting. This is, uh, we're caching something about the size of a golf cart into like the great pyramids or something that's about the size of a sports stadium arena. And so you can see that's just going to give it a small nudge. And the point of that is that you would do this many years in advance, decades in advance, such that this would just give it a small nudge, but it would add up to a big position in time such that the Earth and the asteroid wouldn't be on a collision course in the future if you needed to. So it's all wow. about deflection, not disruption.